This is a look at and comparison between the two historical number stations, EO1, Ready, Ready, and the NNN family. Number stations are clandestine radio broadcasts consisting of numbers or letters broadcasted over the air. These numbers and letters are thought to be encrypted messages and instructions to spies in the field in foreign countries. They rely on the anonymity of radio. While it's possible to tell who is broadcasting a message, it is impossible to tell who is listening. The numbers and letters are partially generated for each message randomly, making the single-use one-time pads used by these spies nearly impossible to decrypt when they are found. I do not claim to be the final authority on number stations, and these ones in particular. It can be very hard to directly pinpoint a number station's origins, especially an older station from the Cold War which is no longer operational. Please use common sense in your own research when considering my content. I urge you not to jump to any wild conclusions based on my findings. If you like what you see, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and make sure notifications is checked on YouTube. The number station known as EO-1 ran from at least the mid-1970s to 1999. It was famous for its agitated and fake British female voice and its shouting of READY! READY! before commencing its broadcast. Despite being one of the most iconic number stations, nobody has been able to successfully pin down the station's broadcast location. It has been possibly linked to Bulgaria due to sharing frequencies and content with S2 drums and trumpets, another supposedly Bulgarian station which this video will also talk about. We'll get the problem with these stations linked to Bulgaria in a moment. The number station known as NNN operated from the beginning of the Cold War to 1997. It had a wide network in many languages, including German, English, French, and Hungarian. Each variant changed voices and Morse tones multiple times throughout its run. This network has been linked to Austria's intelligence agency. However, this link is not a secure link either, as based around the station's German variant, which is described as being Viennese in acceptation. This was linked during its final iteration from the late 1980s to the 1990s. It may surprise you to know that NNN and Ready Ready have a lot in common. EO1 has been tentatively linked to both Italy and Bulgaria's secret services, but EO1 shares a voice actress with the earliest version of the NNN number station in German, that is apparently Austrian in origin. What follows is a mashup of this early version of NNN and EO1's voice. Take a listen. The audio here is a little rough. Here's another comparison. It uses the same G12 NNN recording as the first one, with the more familiar Conet Project recording of Ready Ready. The NNN recording and the first recording of Ready Ready are from Simon Nason's now defunct website. There is a link below. Take a listen. One, five, seven, two, eight. One, five, seven, two, eight. Wow, ach, 
drei, acht, sechs, sieben, sechs, zero, sechs, seven, two, eight, one, five, seven, two, eight, one, five, seven, two, eight, one, neun, sieben, sechs, drei, zwei, zero, sechs, acht, acht, drei, zero, sechs, acht, acht, drei, neun, vier, sechs, one, five, seven, two, eight, 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 one, Rupert, There is a problem in the historical number station listener community with connecting sovereign European stations to Bulgaria even when they do not belong there. This is most visibly demonstrated by a number station, S10A, being initially known as Bulgarian Betty when it is in fact Czechoslovakian in origin. There is a misconception among some Westerners that the smaller, lesser-known European languages are so similar to each other that they might as well be indistinguishable. This is a mistake. Two languages from nearby countries may be very different from each other even if they are in the same family of languages. A great example of this is Italian, Spanish, and Portuguese. They are from nearby countries and they come from the same family of languages, but they are different. Their counting systems are similar, and their cardinal numbers all share the same root words owing to their status as Romance languages. But few people who are aware of these languages would ever confuse Spanish and Italian. It's exactly the same with the Slavic languages of Southern Europe. For these languages, even if their root ancestral word for a number is the same, pronunciation is everything. What follows is a recording of two apparently Bulgarian stations. One of the number stations, known as Edna Sednitzer, is enigmatically Bulgarian and has a stronger case supporting it originating from that country. The other is S2 Drums and Trumpets. It is one only tentatively linked as we discussed and is related to Ready Ready. <laughs> Said Neitzer's accent is a little bit different from the other stations. The recording has her speaking carefully and fully enunciating each number. 
The other number station, SO2 Drums and Trumpets, is also speaking carefully. But the pronunciation of the numbers has the syllables smashed together in places. When Edna says four, Shatiri, she makes sure that every syllable is fully audible. SO2's version is so squashed that it sounds almost like Shatri. SO2 also lacks the very Bulgarian broadcasting habit of saying Sednitzer instead of the more commonly Slavic pronunciation of Sedem. This could partially be, be because drums and trumpets is speaking a little faster than Edna Sednitzer, and Edna appears to be from a later era than drums and trumpets. Both stations do have the Bulgarian characteristic of saying number and groupie for numbers and groups. So, while I think both stations are speaking Bulgarian, only one station, Edna Sednitzer, actually originates from Bulgaria. The other one has the robot announcer faithfully saying number and groupie in Bulgarian, but substituting in a pronunciation more like her own country's language for the actual numbers. Now, as I've previously stated, it appears that NNN in German and Ready Ready both at one time used the same voice actress. That is not the only thing NNN has in common with a number station from outside of Austria. What follows is an interplay of two more slather preambles from number stations. One of them spells out the familiar triple N that gives the NNN station family its name. The other one spells out YT. The Morse transmissions of these letters are all very similar. Both stations have their letters keyed out very slowly. The high-pitched sound for the dashes are almost exactly the same. Morse code is much like traditional spoken language in that, for broadcasting, the tone and sound of the dots and dashes between countries is, is significant. This was especially true during the Cold War when the technology wasn't so globalized, and countries often developed more transmitters and encryption technologies independently and in the strictest of secrecy. Even in modern times, a casual listener can hear differences between the Morse used by USA and its NATO allies and the Morse code number stations coming from Russia, Cuba, or China. So why would an apparently Austrian Morse transmission sound so much like YT? It should be noted that YT is 100% Yugoslavian in origin. It should also be known that in the previous discussion of Bulgarian pronunciations, the SO2's Bulgarian numbers of their squished vowel sounds are uncannily similar to how numbers are pronounced in Serbo-Croatian. This similarity is so striking that there is still a slight dispute on Simon Mason's page on these stations over which of the languages was broadcast. In my opinion, it is a hybrid. The station was intended to be Bulgarian, but the announcer reverted to type and said most of the numbers like how they were pronounced in Serbo-Croatian. Have a listen to the voice portion of YT compared to the voice portion of S2 Drums and Trumpets. Thank <laughs> you.
S2's announcer trying to say one as it is said in Bulgarian, but every other number is quite similar to how it is said in Serbo-Croatian, even with the Yugoslavian announcer doing her own idiosyncratic pronunciations of some numbers, the similarity is striking. It should be noted that Slovenia and Croatia then provinces of Yugoslavia have throughout their history sig significant minorities of Italian speakers in their countries. Ready, Ready has also been linked to Italy due to apparent Italian music being heard instead of an expected broadcast of the station. So, what's going on here? Why do an Austrian station and a supposedly Bulgarian station use the same voice actress? Why is an Austrian station and a Yugoslavian station share Morse transmitters? Why does a Bulgarian station say its numbers in such a Serbo-Croatian way? There are a few possibilities. Austria could have hired out a Yugoslav or Bulgarian voice actress to record numbers for its stations. Western European countries have hired many workers from Eastern Europe starting in the Cold War, and Austria hires many sovereign Eastern Europeans in industries today. This also makes sense considering multiple listeners over the years noting that Reddy Reddy's British accent has a tendency to roll her R's in a very Slavic way. Austria could have loaned technology to one or more of these countries out of the goodness of its heart. This one-sided technology gift is not very likely. What's more likely is there is a mutual relationship with Yugoslavia, as the two had warmer relations than other countries on different sides of the Cold War. This was, of course, changed when Yugoslavia collapsed in the 90s. For a period between the end of World War II and 1991, the two countries dealt with each other often. 
of the post-Yugoslav nations still do business with the Austrian government and Austrian multinationals. Bulgaria's relationship with Austria was less amiable, as Bulgaria was more firm in its dedication to the Eastern Bloc and Warsaw Pact. Austria was very firmly Western. There is a precedent for technology sharing among countries for number stations. Poland's E-23 Swedish Rhapsody used an American voice and machinery for the later part of its run. This occurred after the immediate fall of the Iron Curtain, and Poland had become a valuable spot in the map for spying on its Russian neighbors in the years following the Moscow coup. It's also possible that all of these stations are, in fact, Yugoslavian-owned and operated, but still with help from Austria or another Western power. Yugoslavia had extensive dealings and brokered alley ships across Europe with little care for which side of the Cold War said country was on. Yugoslavia is famous for essentially holding the United States and Russia hostage by saying something like, If both of you guys don't play nice with us, we will let the other one build bases on our soil. Yugoslavia was a founding member of the Non-Aligned Movement. Bulgaria already had a very prolific and effective number station with Edna Sednitzer, and was a more monolingual and centralized state than Yugoslavia at the time. Yugoslavia was many ethnic substates with both central and provincial intelligence agencies that had begun to flex their muscles starting in the late 1970s. This could explain NNN's wide array of languages for Eastern and Western spying, as well as a Serbo-Croatian accented person speaking Bulgarian. The apparent tracing of NNN to Austria does not defeat a Yugoslav origin. Austria shared a southern border of Yugoslavia's historical Northern Alps region. A station beam north from the most northern part of Slovenia could easily mimic an Austrian location when trying. We may never know with certainty who is behind all of these stations. This video is all speculation and examples. But as far as speculation goes, a strong case can be made for Yugoslavia having more of a number station presence than once thought, and for some stations not being run by a single country only. As I have said at the beginning, I am not the final authority on number station, and I encourage you to do your own research and come to your own conclusions. If you've liked what you've heard in this video, don't forget to hit subscribe and make sure notifications is checked. Thank you and goodbye.